Okay, in this video we'd like to make a, a program on our TI-84 and this program will be a grading program so a user will be able to enter their current semester grade. Um, they'll be able to enter what uh, score they'll think they'll get on the final exam and they also will enter uh, how much the final exam is worth and they'll be able to hit enter and it'll calculate what their final grade will then be and um, it'll also give a, uh, a letter grade um, with that. We're going to be doing this in a while loop and uh, so it'll, it'll eventually after it calculates your grade it'll ask if you want to quit or not and you can say yes and then it, it'll end the program. So we want to uh, try to learn how to do a little bit of coding on our calculators by making this little program. So we're going to click, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the program button and uh, we want to make a, a new program so we're going to go over to new and click enter and it's going to ask us to name our program. Uh, we'll call it uh, grade. So we hit the alpha and we uh, get all of our letters. And we can click enter. And we have a program. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set a variable, um, a quit variable. So we're going to uh, um, and we'll store the number two in it right now. So I click two and I click store and I'm going to uh, do alpha Q. I'm going to put, what I did here is I put the number two into a variable called Q. Um, and then I'm going to start a while loop for our, ent our entire program. So I'm going to enter that. And then I'm going to go up to program and I'm going to come down here for five. I'm going to while loop. And I'm going to do while uh, Q while Q and I need some logic so I'm going to click on second and math and I'm going to do uh, greater than so I'm going to do the three while Q is greater than one so right now you see in this first line of code we put two into Q so now the next line says while Q is greater than one well right now Q is two so this is true and it's going to be running our program um, later we'll give an option to uh, for you to quit, uh, you'll want to set Q as 1 and then when it'll come back around here and it won't be greater than 1 anymore so it'll exit out of the program. That's how that's going to uh, work. Okay, so um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a, we'll click program and we're going to go over to input output and you'll see there's clear home 8. Um, that cl always clears the screen. Um, so we use that every once in a while to just kind of wipe the screen out and uh, make our program look kind of clean. So the first thing I'm going to do when we get into the program is uh, we're going to we're going to clear clear the screen. All right, and we'll enter that. Next thing we want to do is we want to display. Um, so we're going to go to input output again. I O input output, and we're going to click three. We want to display. And we're going to uh, type in um, what we want to display. We want them to enter their current grade. So uh, we're going to do, we have to put text uh, in quotation marks. So we're going to do the quotation marks. And we'll do um, enter, enter. It's kind of hard to do the letters quickly. Enter, and there, by the way, alpha down here, the zero is a space. Enter grade. And we're going to have to enter that, uh, finish that up with some uh, quotation marks also. Enter grade, and we'll go ahead and enter that. Okay. And uh, then um, we want them to be able to input what their grade is. So we're going to go to program. Uh, we're going to go to the input output, and we're just going to do one. So input. And we want to assign whatever they enter to a variable, and we'll call that variable, um, in this case, uh, G. So we're going to enter grade. They're going to get a little cursor that you're going to enter a number in, and that'll assign it to the variable G. Okay. All right, let's uh, then um, we'll have them, we're going to display again, we're going to do this again, program, input, output, display, number three, and this time we're going to say, 
We're going to do quotation marks again. This time we're going to say enter test. So it'll be whatever their score is on their on their test. So give me a little time to do that. Alpha zero is the space. Final quotation mark. Enter test. We will uh, enter, and then we're going to do an input for that. Input output. We'll click number one for input, and uh, variable. What variable do we want? We're going to use a t for this one. So when they enter a test score, it's going to put it in the variable t. Okay, and we'll enter that. And then we're going to do another one. So we're going to do program input output. Three is display. Um, and this time we're going to say we want them to enter what the test is going to be worth. So we're going to do quotation marks. Uh, we'll do T E S T space um, worth, we'll call it. O R T H and close it. Okay, display test worth, enter, um, program, input output, um, input, and uh, let's see, what are we going to call this? Uh, let's do, let's call it the variable W for worth. Okay, and then we'll enter that. All right, so um, it's going to come up on the screen, enter grade, and then we'll put in a grade. And then it'll say enter test, and we'll put in a test score. And then we'll say enter test worth, and then we'll, or put test worth, and then we'll enter a test worth. And then all those variables now are stored in G, T, and W. So, so what I want to do right after I've entered that test worth is I actually want to go to input, output, and I want to uh, clear home again. So that'll clear the screen again, um, and then uh, do our calculations on that. Okay, so how do I uh, calculate it? Well, um, I'm going to start with a, uh, um, an open parenthesis. I'm going to take our grade that we entered, alpha G. Uh, where's G? Yeah, alpha G. And I'm going to take it times what uh, the grade is worth. The grade will be, well, we don't know what the grade is worth. We know what the test is worth. Let's say the test is worth 15% of the grade. So what would the grade be worth? Well, it'd be 85%, right? And how did we get that? We took 100 minus the test worth. So I need to take this grade times what it's worth, which would be 100 minus the test worth. So I'm going to do a parenthesis here. I'm going to do 100 minus what it, the test is worth, which was W, and close that parenthesis. Now what do I do? Well, I had to add that onto whatever the test score is, right? Alpha T times um, whatever the test is worth, and that is uh, W. So we take the grade times what it is worth plus the test times what it is worth, and then we'll close parenthesis that. And then since we didn't put these uh, percentages, like the test worth and the and the grade worth, since we didn't put them in decimal form, like you usually, if you're going to take 15%, you take it times 0.15, right? We're taking it times like, you know, 15. So what we need to do here is we need to divide this by 100 to get our actual grade. Okay, so that's going to calculate what our numerical grade is right there. We need to store that in a variable. So we're going to do store, and what variable do I want to use? Well, I kind of want to use G because that's what grade stands for, but I already used it. Is it okay to reuse it? Yes, it is, because we've actually already used our G. We don't need it anymore. It's in the equation. It's in the number right here. I can actually then restore that back into and reuse the variable uh, G. So I'm going to do alpha uh, G, so that's going to be our... Uh, our grade. Okay, um, good. So we have that now. So now what do we need to do? Well, we need to uh, 
we need to display it back to the screen. So we're going to go program, we're going to go input output, we're going to do display three, and we're going to say uh, start with a quotation mark and do your let's see o u r space uh, g r a d e you can do these a lot shorter but i like to spell things out and make it look really plain display your grade okay all right um now that's that's not actually displaying the grade that's just some text that we're going to put on the screen that says your grade all right that's good enough okay um good okay so then what we're going to do is we we want to figure out um um what their letter grade would be based on what their grade is. So to do that, we're gonna do some programming here. We're gonna do some if statements. So we're gonna to go to program and you'll see right here we have these if and then and else's and stuff. So we're gonna do if um, and um, we're gonna figure out what G is. So alpha G, if G is, so we need some logic, second math, if G is greater than or equal to, so number four, if it's greater than or equal to uh, 90. We're, we're gonna just break these grades up into A, B, C, D, and F. Um, if you wanna take a lot more time, you can great, um, break them up into the pluses and minuses. That's totally fine with you, but I wanna do this somewhat quickly. So if G is, if the grade is greater than or equal to 90, um, then, uh, yeah, so I need then, two, if G is greater than or equal to 90, then enter. Um, what are we going to do? If it's greater than or equal to 90, then we're, we say that's an A, right? So we're going to do uh, um, program, input, output, display. And we're going to dis uh, display uh, what their grade would be. So that's going to be in a text, right, of an A. And then we want to actually also tell them what their numerical grade is. So we're going to click comma, and then we're going to put uh, G, not in string, because that's a variable. So this will display a letter A, and then it'll actually give them the grade. So if it's like 98%, it'll say like A and then 98. All right. Okay. Um, so what if it's not? Well, what we need now then is actually um, an else. So if G is greater than or equal to 90, then display A and the grade. Else, else, uh, what are we going to do? Well, now we're going to do another if. So we're doing a lot of uh, nested ifs here. So now we're going to do, so maybe we can go a little faster, hopefully. So if one, um, second math, greater than or equal is the four, this time greater than or equal to 80, right? Okay, program then to enter, um, display, program, and go to input, output, display, um, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna do, uh, that's gonna be a B. comma and then put what their grade numerical grade is there and then we'll enter okay so then display that um, else again else and if and then second math greater than or equal four and this time we're doing 70, enter, then, and again, this time we're gonna display, so input, output, three, display, 
and this time it's going to be a C and we're going to put their grade cool and then program else just keep going down here else enter if um, whoops whoops I'm messing things up here I didn't get my G up in these things did I yeah it's supposed to be if G alpha G how did I forget that second math greater than or equal four if G is greater than or equal to and this is 60 enter okay so we got to come up here and we got to fix some things here so uh, let's come up here now I did I do it right on the 90 I did it right on the 90 for some reason I didn't do it do it right here so I'm gonna go in here and here's a little trick here so I need to insert I don't want to type all this stuff over again so I'm gonna be on that greater than or equal to and I'm gonna do second delete because you didn't see it's actually insert so second insert and then I can do alpha um, G and see it just uh, it just moved it over there that's nice okay so now I can go down and I can be on this one and again second insert and then alpha G okay there it is again greater than or equal to 70 see I messed that up all on purpose so that I could show you how to do the insert see it's good teaching there okay so now what do I have on G if G is greater than or equal to 60 uh, what do I need okay I need a then to enter um, display input output display um, now what are we doing we're displaying um, that's going to be a D right D comma and whatever their grade is enter okay and then what do we got well we got one more thing we have an else three okay else um, now uh, do we need another if no we don't because if we've, we've gone through all the possibilities and if we're still going through the program then that means we're less than 60 right which of course is an F right so all we need we don't need to do another out uh, if we can just do if G is greater than or equal to 60 then do this display D in the grade else then display F right so we can just Go to program, input, output, uh, three, um, display, and then we can do uh, alpha um, and uh, let's let's be mean and say uh, p l e a s e space um, t r a n s f e r please transfer sorry that's mean I know but I can't help myself comma uh, G so we put we say please transfer and we put their grade which would you know be something less than 60 60 percent okay um, now it's kind of a, a weird thing but um, these thens are, are you know big huge seconds so basically these else's are kind of nested within these thens so we need to see how many thens we had see we had uh, 60 and the 70 and the 80 and the 90 so there were four thens Okay, for every then, this is kind of just a rule to remember. For every then, once you're at the end of your if thens, you need to uh, do um, um, number seven. You need to end. You need to end the thens. And we had four thens, so we actually need 
uh, four ends. So seven, enter, program, seven. Um, enter, oops, let's see here. Can I go, enter that, nope, that's not gonna work, let's see. Uh, delete, okay, enter, program, seven, enter, program, seven, Oh, we already we already have our. Oh yeah, that's my fourth end. Okay, so we have my four ends there. Okay, um, I think what I want to do. So that's gonna print our grid. That's good. Uh, let's let's display. I'm gonna display input output three. I'm gonna display actually um, like a blank line. So I'm just gonna do an empty quotation thing there. I want a blank line to separate this from what I'm about ready to do. So um, the next thing I want to do then is do another display and put output display um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them if they want to quit because we, we went through the loop once and they figured out their grade so we want to ask them do you want do you want to quit this program? So I'm gonna do uh, whoops I'm gonna do a Go back, delete that. I need alpha quotation. Um, I'm going to say uh, quit. You, I, I, T, quit. Uh, where's a question mark? I want a question mark. Here's a question mark down here. Quit, and let's do a space. And then let's do uh, this. So we want to tell them how they can quit. So we're going to do alpha uh, Y, which stands for yes. And then we'll do one of these colons, and then we'll do a one. And then we'll do a space. And then we'll do N for no, I don't want to quit. Um, and then do a colon. And that's going to be a two. So see if if we put uh, y, or we're going to enter y. That's going to put y back in for our q. If you remember at the very beginning, and that's going to allow us then to quit. Um, we need to close this off with quotation marks like this. Okay. All right. And then we're going to enter that, and then we're going to come up to program, and we're going to uh, go to the input output, and we're going to say number one, input. And then, of course, the variable um, was Q. So it's going to display, it's going to say quit, Y equals 1, and N equals 2. So then it's going to say input, it's going to give you a, a, a blinking cursor there and say whatever you put in there, it's going to set to be Q. Now, if you remember up at the top of our program, if we put in 1 for Q, now when it goes in the while loop, um, Q is not going to be greater than 1 anymore because it's going to be 1. So it's going to quit out of that, and it's going to come all the way down out of the uh, end loop. So the next thing we need to put in here, right here, is going to be very important. It's going to actually be another end. So we had to end all the thens, and this end is to end the while loop. So if we reset Q to be 1, it's going to not go through this loop again. It's going to drop out to down here to this end, and then it's going to go on, go on from there. So what I want to do right after that end right there is I actually want to uh, um, go to input, output. I want to clear the page. I want to clear it. And then I think I will um, display input, output, three, display. I'm going to say um, I'm going to say goodbye. Yeah, I'll say goodbye. Enter, I'll say display goodbye. Um, okay. And I got one last line of code that's probably really weird. Um, 
I'll just throw it in here though. Input output, we're gonna get six output. We're gonna use that one, output. And we're going to, and to do an output, you can print things to the screen and you can print it in any row or column you want. I'm gonna, since I have display, I cleared the page, right? And then I have goodbye. That's actually gonna be on the front top line, line one. So I need to put my output on like the second line. So I'm gonna do uh, two, comma, so two is the row, comma is one. That's gonna be in the first uh, column. That's where I would start printing. And uh, then I do a comma, and then I can do what I'm gonna print. But what I'm gonna print is actually um, two quotations. I'm not gonna print anything, okay? And you might ask uh, why I'm doing that. Um, I'm actually doing that because when programs are done, it actually prints done at the end, and uh, some of us don't like that. So we just want it to, you know, you know, it's done because we said goodbye, and it's not going to say done at the end. So, okay, that should be it. Man, I really hope that program works for as long as this took me. Um, so we need to quit because when we quit, it's going to save it. So I'm going to do second uh, quit, and I hope that worked. And then we're going to go up to uh, program, and it's in there. There it is. Okay, we're going to go uh, down to number two which is grade, to execute it, and we're going to click Enter. Here we go. Enter. Enter grade, it says. I'm going to say I got a 95. Enter your test score. I'm going to get like, uh, let's, say I, let's say I fail it. Let's say I get 59 on it, okay? Test worth. A lot of times they're in our school, they're worth 15%. So let's say I have an A in the class, but I got a 59 on the test, and the test is worth 15%. Enter. Your grade is a B, 89.6. It went all the way from A down to a B, 89.6. And then it says quit. Y is 1 or N is 2. So let's not quit. Let's do uh, 2, 2, enter. Okay, and it starts, starts the program over again. So um, let's say we had a 56 in the class. And on the test, we got a 12. We're just doing really poorly in this class. Maybe it's a coding class, like coding TI-84s. Test worth, uh, we'll say, is 52%. And enter. Ooh, your grade. Please transfer. 33.12% is your grade. And uh, do you want to quit? And obviously, we got such a bad grade that the only really thing to do is quit. So uh, we're going to click uh, 1 and enter. And goodbye. And my done still printed. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's see. I think maybe I know what I did on that. Uh, let's go back. Let's click program. And let's edit uh, number two. And we got to go all the way down to the end. And I think, I was thinking about this earlier. I think I want to not actually have that last parenthesis on there. I think maybe that's what did it. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try it again. Second, quit and save that. Uh, program. We're going to run the grade. Enter. And uh, 98. Enter. 65. Enter. 32. Enter. Your grade quit uh, one. Let's see what it does this time. Nope, still put the done on there. Hmm. Well, that part, little that little thing didn't work. There's little tricks you can Google on how to get rid of the done. And um, this is the first time I actually tested on this uh, emulator here. I did it on a TI 83 plus, and it worked perfectly. So um, there must be some maybe something different for this one here. So well anyway, there's a, a really half an hour long video on how to make a little grading program on your TI-84. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, take everything you learned and make all your own little programs. It's uh, kind of fun to do. Takes a little while, but it's I think worth your while.